Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this three step infographic slide in PowerPoint. Here you have got the text here, which you can see it's kind of a, a stitch text kind of thing. And then you have got the three leather straps uh, with the options here with three different colors. And if you see the text also, it's all kind of a stitched one. And the second slide also similar slide with uh, some different colors. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Right mouse click and add a new slide. Delete the unwanted text here. Go to insert shapes and select a rectangle. Draw the rectangle in the middle of the slide. Make it no outline, right mouse click, go to format shape and select a gradient fill. I have used some very dark uh, shade and the light shade here. You can see here, you can get the, the shade this side. And here in the middle, I have just used somewhat some light shade. Select the rectangle, press Ctrl D, make it duplicate and give an outline of light gray color and go to dashes and select the dash. Make it no fill and reduce the size and put it at the corners. So it will give you a, a stitched leather feeling. For the line you can just give some more transparency level to look more realistic. Then go to insert shapes Select the top rounded corner rectangle and at the bottom make it uh, curved and the top you remove the curve. Make it no outline. And you can use the gradient fill, but you can select some different color here. I can just select a very dark pink kind of stuff. It's up to you to change the color. You have to spend a little bit of time for selecting or for choosing the right color. I think this is not matching. I think this is okay and this I can make it more darker. This is I'm using the radial and in the, which is the center. I'm making it some more darker. Okay. And same I'm just going to give the borders the same the cloth stitch feeling. Make it no fill. And I'm going to insert a shape rectangle once again. This is for the leather straps where we are going to put the options. Make it no outline and then select the gradient fill. For this I have used some combination of dark and light oranges.
So I have totally I've used one, two, three, four, five stops in this one. You can just play all the with, uh, with the stops and see that you have got the right combination of the colors and the right the shading of the colors. Now go to insert shapes and select a frame from this frame which is in under basic shapes. So this is kind of a buckle, uh, a steel buckle here. I'm just uh, going to add it here. And this also I'm going to use gradient, but I'm just going to give a silver for this. First select the dark gray color at the both the ends. And then I'm just going to give some white color. And for this stop as well, I'm just going to make it white. And the one which is left, I'll make somewhat light gray. Make it no outline and you can give some shadow effect also. Just say send back. and select this for some shadow effect the shadow effect uh, I forgot to uh, give it the title the first the pink color you can give the shadow effect there as well and for this you can increase the distance and the blur size I'm just going to copy it by pressing ctrl D and just increase the size Now for this also, I'm just going to make it a duplicate and give the stitch fill in. and you can copy the same here and I'm going to insert one oval shape uh, which will give the feeling of a hole uh, in the leather strap for this I'm just going to give the same background as of the the slide background and go to shadow and select this one reduce the size and bring it here You can make the size as 0.25 width and height. And then select the full strap, control D and bring it down. So I'm just going to make it three. If you have space or if you are making it somewhat smaller, you can make it four or five as well. Align it properly and I'm just going to change the color of these straps.
now the color has been changed which i forgot to do one but anyway we can do it later add a text box and type your title make it center aligned give as a white font and increase the size and for this i'm downloaded a font called zigzag you can download this font or i have already embedded in this slide increase the size and place it exactly at the center and you can press ctrl d i'm going to use this for the options this is the option a reduce the size and bring it here this is option b and this is option c i'm sorry to uh, that the option c i have forgot to give the same blue color and here i'm just going to give some description for this i'm just going to use uh, a latin text which you can get equals lorem within brackets one reduce the size And this also I have downloaded a font called Mix Stitch. I have used this font to give the the realistic uh, fonts of the leather or the stitch. So this is how it looks like. Your text here. Then you've got the three options the three leather straps that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye